Now here, that great champion of the ethical consumer, body shop owner Dame Anita Roddick, died this evening. She was only 64. She suffered a brain hemorrhage. Back in the 70s, Dame Anita put social and environmental causes at the very heart of her business, long before other companies really cared. Phil Ray Smith reports on the life of a business pioneer. Anita Roddick was the original social entrepreneur, pioneering the concept of fair trade in the UK. But she founded the body shop out of necessity. It was 1976 and she was bringing up two young children, using Bedouin recipes to invent moisturisers in her Brighton kitchen. Her success gave her great prominence, allowing her to lend her voice and her shop to ethical and environmental causes as varied as the beauty products she sold. She used her stores basically as billboards for the animal rights movement. Um, she spoke out and basically um, showed the world that business and ethics could go hand in hand. In 1985, Anita Roddick was named Businesswoman of the Year, the same year she first used her shop windows to promote Greenpeace's Save the Whales campaign. At her stores, instead of buying ingredients from commodity markets, she went straight to the source, instigating self-help projects across South America and Africa. It was popular with consumers, and by 2004, she had nearly 2,000 stores. Two years later, she sold the business to L'Oreal for £652 million, controversially because of L'Oreal's reputation for animal testing. Perhaps her most surprising move, though, was her revelation in February this year that she was carrying hepatitis C from a blood transfusion after giving birth. It has changed me. It has made me more reflective. It's made me listen, which I never did before, listen to my body. Anita Roddick never stopped campaigning. The last entry on her personal website in support of Amnesty International was written four days ago. She died at 6.30 this evening from a major brain hemorrhage with her husband and daughters at her side. Phil Ray Smith on the death of Anita Roddick. Let's go to our business correspondent now. Uh, Mark, Mark Edo there. Um, tributes have been pouring in tonight then. They certainly have, Mark. Uh, shoppers with a social conscience uh, knew, knew Anita Roddick as a hero. Anita Roddick called herself a hellraiser. Uh, tonight, the tributes have been flowing in. Gordon Brown, in the last few moments, said she was an inspiration to women throughout the country, striving to set up and grow their own companies. And Richard Branson, a longtime friend, had this to say. Anita showed the world that success in business can go hand in hand with making the world a better place. She was an incredible human being and will be greatly missed. And I suppose all this shows how influential she really was. It really does indeed. I mean, she built one of the biggest cosmetic brands in the world on the back of not just profit making, but understanding that business had a social responsibility. She took that money, those many millions that she made, and she ploughed them not into plush offices and private planes, but into in-house campaigns on everything from the environment to, uh, to um, anti-testing uh, anti of animals. Uh, and and of often she was one of the first people to do this and many people followed through. Now, there was shock from ethical consumers when L'Oreal bought uh, the body shop in November, but uh, Anita Roddick always maintained that by selling up, she wasn't selling out, that the body shop would buy, uh, L'Oreal would buy some of the body shop's ethos, some of its philosophy. In the latter part of her life, she wanted to remember, be remembered not uh, just only as a, a wealthy businesswoman, someone who'd been successful in business and made a lot of money, for, for, but for someone who'd done much more than that. And tonight, she will be. Mark. All right, Mark Edo, thank you. Now, still to come on the programme tonight,